All right. So we're sailing in into the slip. The wind is at our back. It's probably blowing five knots, maybe. We're doing two and a half knots. Uh, I took down the main already. I found that when I'm coming in in these conditions, it's better to have only the jib up. And the reason why is when I go take it down, um, it's like having... Oh, there's a seal! There is a seal. You kind of have front wheel drive. Um, if I only had the main up, there's two issues with it. One is when I leave the cockpit, the boat's going to want to round up. It's a real pain. It's also just generally a real pain to take down a main as you're going downwind. Um, oh, hey, seal. Don't mind us. <laughs> so, um, what else is going on? Um, I've got the oar out just in case, but I don't think we're going to need it. So, in two more docks, I will take down the head sail. In fact, you know, the wind's coming up a little. Let's just take it down now. Why not? So, I'll let out the sheet plenty. Okay. Let's let's take the. the uh oh. Okay, let's make sure I've got my spring line set up. <clears throat> it's nice to have a big old break. So this is it. I like to put it on my primary winch. And, you know, just as good practice, the eye splice that I've got is a lot larger. And the last thing you'd want to do is have that come undone at just the wrong time. So, that's not the best, but it's better than nothing. It's not going to pop off accidentally now. So, it's kind of boring. <laughs> we're cruising. We're still doing uh, 1.6, 1.7. The irony is that my GPS is really low end. So, at, like below like 1.2 knots, it doesn't even register. <laughs> and it's ironic because I do speed under 1.2 quite a bit, unfortunately. So yeah, we're just drifting under bare poles. Bob, what is that blue thing, your brake? This is just a spring line. Uh-huh. Uh, so, so when we get near the dock, and this is a downwind landing, uh, we need to stop the boat and see how we're going to stop the boat. I'm just going to find the uh, uh, closest cleat to us and grab a band. It'll be happening pretty shortly. Uh, also a very, very good idea to check the traffic. Um, you know, if there was a kayak or a sailboat just coming right out, you know, the worst case scenario, I just might have to keep going. Um, it's going to be a little tough to just hoist both sails and circle around. I'd probably have to take another trip around the brake water. But that's never happened to me yet. Okay. Good. Traffic behind us is good. It's also very important to actually maintain boat speed. The last thing you'd want to do is go too slow right here and just get to the point where you're effectively stalled out and not going forward and just and then just start drifting sideways into the dock. That would be a real disaster. So again, that's what the work could help with, but we're fine. 
or just kind of curve straight into a slip. And then another mistake you can make is to aim too straight for your dock. You want to make, make a nice wide turn. And the other reason why, well, the main reason why I like to have the tiller is it can really help you make these fine tuned adjustments. All right. In she goes. That boat and muffin down there, they're usually pretty drunk by the time I'm doing this. <laughs> so they like to cheer me on. <laughs> All right. Here comes the break. That's it. And now, go get your balance. 